the examples of the emerging economies in East Asia, as well as that of Japan, were bound to affect other Eastern economies. With Taiwan on Hong Kong and Hong Kong on the doorstep, one would have had to be immensely obtuse or blinded by ideology not to realize in China that Chinese people everywhere except in mainland China seemed to be doing remarkably well while those in China were doing rather badly. And once Chairman Mao died, the new Chinese leadership was neither obtuse nor blinded by ideology. From the mid-1970s onwards, they decided to copy what was being done in the economies on their doorstep. President Johnson in the 1960s used to defend the actions of the US and Vietnam by talking about what he called the domino theory, that if one country fell to communism, it would knock over its neighbor country. In the end, what happened was the domino theory in reverse. The economic success of East Asia changed China, which was one of the factors leading to President Gorbachev wanting to reform Russia, and which over time was one of the factors that led to the fall of the Iron Curtain. I remember once explaining this to Li Kuan Yu, that he'd caused the fall of the Iron Curtain indirectly and he was rather amused by the concept. 